What is up guys, it's Don's here and today we are back with another FIFA 18 squad builder and today I've got a cheap 30k hybrid squad builder for you guys and getting straight into the video, in goal we have gone with a really underrated goalkeeper this year guys and that is Jorelio Gomez, um, he's really decent actually, pretty much as good as Butland as you guys would have known is pretty decent from the last squad that I've done and um, he's really, he's just an average decent that doesn't make sense. You can't be average and decent, but he's a decent goalkeeper this year, guys. Only cost 1,100 coins, so definitely pick him up for this score builder. Um, yeah, I was really surprised by him. Now, moving on to the first centre-back position, we have gone with Cabaselli, guys. He is strong. He's he's quick. He's just amazing. Um, not really much more you can ask from him, guys. Maybe a little bit more defending, but other than that, he is just... OP. He's got 73 pace, 74 defense, and 79 physical. And he's six foot two, guys. So he's really tall, and he only costs about 1,500 coins. So he is really, really cheap, guys. Now moving on to the next um, defender position, we have gone with a player from the Calcio A, and that is Juan Jesus. Now this guy is amazing too, guys. He's got 79 pace, 77 defense, and 83 physical. So he is slightly better than the other centre back, which is Cabaselli, but he is still. They're both still amazing guys, really good partnership. And he only costs 1,400 coins himself, guys, and he's six foot one as well. Now moving on to the right back position, we have gone with Karsdorp, guys. Um, he is amazing, guys. Probably one of the best, well, one of the top three, at least, Calcio A right backs, guys. Um, he's got 87 pace, 74 dribbling, 73, def 73 defense, 78 physical, 72 passing, and 63 shot, guys. He's also got four-star weak foot and high attack and work rate, which, as you guys all know, is perfect. He's six foot as well, so he does win quite a lot of headers when he does have to roam back into the box. Now, moving on to the left-back position, we have gone with another player from the Premier League, and that is Patrick Van Anholt, guys. He is really quick this year, guys. He feels a lot stronger than his card says, and he feels a lot quicker as well. He's got 86 pace, 74 dribbling, 70, 70 defense, and 72 physical, and he's got high attack and work rate, which, as you guys already know, I say this every video, guys, if there's high attack and work rate on a fullback, he's amazing, and pretty much all of them do have it, so he is definitely really good this year, guys. He only cost 1,000 coins at the time of recording that. That wasn't a voice break, by the way, guys. You guys know my voice is so messed up right now, so please don't laugh at me for that one. Um, moving on to the first centre back position, we have gone with another Dutch player, and that's Klassen, guys. He is amazing this year. He's got me one goal and one assist in the five games that we played, and he cost 3,600 coins. Um, he's got 73 pace, 75 dribbling, 67 defence, 80 shot, 74 passing, and 79 physical, which is pretty decent all round stats. His lowest being is defending, which is 67. But for a midfielder, that is actually pretty decent as well, considering he is very attacking. Um, he's got high, high work rates, which does mean he's pretty much always centrally on the pitch. And he's a very, very strong guy overall, guys. So definitely go pick him up. Now, moving on to the next centre mid position, we have gone with another Calcio and another Roma player. And that is Strootman, guys. He is absolutely amazing. Probably the best midfielder I've used. And I've, I'm saying this after using Bakayoko, guys. And Bakayoko is amazingly overpowered. And Strootman is just even better. He's got five. Well, he's got two go two goals and two assists in the five games that we played. He cost five thousand two hundred coins, and he uh, as well has high high work rates. He's got three star three star, which isn't amazing, but isn't really too bad. Um, he's six foot one as well, guys. So he's amazing in the air. He's absolutely amazing, guys. He's got sixty seven pace, eighty two physical, seventy eight dribbling and defense, eighty two passing and seventy four shot. Now moving on to the centre attack and mid position, guys. We have gone with one of the Dutch Wizards guys he's he's really underrated not a lot of people know him but Ramsalar guys he is a really really good young prospect coming out of the Euro Divisie which is the Dutch league and um, hopefully he will make a move to a top league so that he does get played a lot more and he is well recognized but this guy is amazing guys 84 pace 77 dribbling 70 physical and 70 passing with 66 shot which isn't too bad it definitely feels a lot higher than that guys as you can tell he's got three goals and four assists in the five games that we played and he only sells for about 950 to 1000 coins depending on when you buy him guys he is absolutely amazing especially with the high attack and work rate on his card guys he's always pretty much just on the edge of the box making through 
through balls, making runs. He's an amazing cam this year, guys. Now, moving on to the left wing position, we have gone with one of my favourite wingers of all time, guys, and that's Elia. And that's just because of his pace, his skills. He just feels amazing. He's also relatively strong for a winger as well, guys. He's got 67 physical, um, 71 shot, 69 passing, 84 dribbling, and 90 pace, guys. Cannot go wrong with him. He's got five goals in the five games that we played. Unfortunately, no assists. But to be honest, when you're on the wing doing skills with him, cutting in, all you want to do is shoot. And that is exactly what he did throughout this whole recording of the squad builder, guys. Now moving on to the right wing position, who is pretty much the same as him. Pretty much just basically a low rated, a little bit worse, but a little bit quicker. So you can't really complain. And that is Luciano Narsing. Again, with my voice. It's really annoying, guys. And please don't laugh at me. Don't rip me in the comments or anything like that. But Narsin is amazing, guys. 91 pace, 76 dribbling, 65 shot and 67 passing. Um, he's pretty decent, guys. Again, four-star skill moves. Um, the only thing I don't like about this card, guys, is he doesn't have high attack and work rate, which does mean he can feel a little bit lost on the pitch sometimes. But when he is on the right wing and he's in position, he is deadly, guys. As you can see, he got two goals and four assists in the five games that we played, and he only cost 950 coins. Now, moving on to the best striker I have used this year, guys. And I feel like I've said that after every single squad builder I've done. I've done Suarez, I've done Higuain, and this guy is even better. And he is this guard price, guys. And that is Locardia. He plays for PSV as well, just like our centre attacking midfielder. And when I say he's this card price, guys, it is actually cheaper to discard him after you've bought him than it is to resell him due to the 5% tax. That is ridiculous, guys. So he, he's he got seven goals and four assists in the five games that we played. Absolutely amazing. He's got two star skill moves, guys. And at first, that is the reason I didn't want to use him because of the two star skill moves. But he does not need it at all, guys. Look at his card. He's got 83 pace, 80 dribbling, 86 shot, 80 passing, and 81 physical. All you need to do with this guy is a ball roll and you are through on goal. And it is a definite guaranteed goal, guys. He only costs 10,000 coins, as you can see, which is this card price. And he's six foot one, so he's really strong in the air as well, guys. Don't be bothered by his work rates because he is always, always in the right position. He is definitely the must buy of this team. Well, that is the team there, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you do enjoy the squad builders that I'm doing, make sure you hit the like button down below and comment any squad builders you would like to see me do or anything that you'd like to add to the squad builders that I've already done. Also, write down what you think how or how you think the squad played once you built the squad and had a couple of games with it. And if you are new to my channel and you do enjoy my content, please hit the subscription button down below and a tiny little bell so that you know exactly when I've uploaded and you can be the first person to watch my video. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. It's been Dons and goodbye.